Hi there. So, this morning I stumbled upon something really weird. I was looking for photos of the developers who created Sonic the Hedgehog in the 1990s, and eventually I found this online gallery that had just what I needed. There was this photo of the entire team, um, plus this one here with two of the artists and a slightly creepy, realistic version of Sonic. Strange. And then I spotted another picture, one that really caught my attention. It featured Sonic's producer sitting in front of his computer, and on the screen was a picture of Sonic wearing a lady's swimsuit. Instantly, my mind started racing. What was this picture on the screen? A, a screenshot from an unreleased game? Maybe some kind of dating sim, or even an erotic game, maybe. The possibilities here were endless. So, I downloaded the photo and sent it to a group chat with a few of my friends in it. They thought it was funny, sure, but they also raised a very good point. I take it the picture's definitely not photoshopped. Like, they haven't photoshopped something on his screen, have they? I assume not, but just wondering, in case. Hmm. That was true. I had no evidence at all that this photo was real. The website I found it on certainly seemed trustworthy, but it also didn't give a source as to where they got the photo. In other words, there was a very real chance that this picture was completely fake. I had found my task. I was going to prove whether or not this picture was genuine. And if it was, I needed to know where it came from. So the first place I looked was an online community called Gaming Alexandria, which works to preserve old video games so they're not lost forever. It's sort of tucked away on the internet. Uh, I happened to find it one day completely by accident. But ever since, it's become my go-to place if I have a gaming mystery that I really can't crack on my own. And this mystery fit the bill perfectly. All I had was this one image, no context, no proof it was even real, but I posted it to the Gaming Alexandria Discord server just in case, just to see if anyone had any ideas. Generally, most people there thought it was probably a screensaver or something, just a joke that one of the developers left on their computer. Which was troubling. If that really was true, if it was just a screensaver on that one computer all the way over in Japan, then my search would end here. There's no way I could ever access that computer, after all. But there was one person in the community who thought they might have a clue. Their username is Baruko Obama, <laughs> and they told me, I think it was left on the disc of Sonic Adventure. I'm not sure. I think there were some Omake pics. So I had to Google Omake. It just means, like, bonus content. So if this was true, if this image here really was on the game's disc, then I could dig it up and prove once and for all that this image is real, that this Bikini Sonic is official. However, I am not a data miner or a hacker. I have no clue how to go about digging through a game's files. Luckily for me, there's another community online that does know what they're doing. This is The Cutting Room Floor. It's an online wiki. In other words, anyone can edit it and it logs all the hidden and unused content found inside the files of a video game. So if this bikini-wearing Sonic really was inside of Sonic Adventure's files, then the cutting room floor would almost certainly have dug it up. So I took a look at the page for Sonic Adventure to see what these people had found. Like, for example, there are apparently these tubes in the casino area that you can never access, left over from an earlier design of the level. There's other weird stuff here too, like there's this spring that was left over from an older Sonic game. It's just sitting there in the game's files, completely unused. Now, all of this is super interesting. However, one fact soon became clear to me. There was no Bikini Sonic here at all. Baruko Obama was not correct. This image does not appear in the game's files. However, there was one last thing here that caught my eye. One last asset from the game's files that never ended up being seen by the player. A photograph of two artists holding up a realistic drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, hang on. 
This picture here should look familiar to you. Remember right at the beginning, that gallery I found of the Sonic developers? That was where I found that Sonic swimsuit pic. But even stranger, there was also this picture of the same two artists holding up that same drawing. However, these aren't the same photo. They're taken from completely different perspectives. Not only that, if you look carefully at the version found inside Sonic Adventure's files, you can actually see the cameraman who took the other picture. And that's where the two artists are looking, it turns out. They're not looking into the same camera as us, they're looking over to the right at the other camera. Which raises a big question. Who is this cameraman and what is he doing here? What is he recording? Well, it turns out the cutting room floor would be the place to give me that final clue. Next to the hedgehog drawing is some text. Quote, the photo seems to have been taken during recording for a Sonic Adventure production presentation VHS tape, as seen here. All right, I was ready. So with a deep breath, I clicked the link. Here it is, the tape. So this guy here is Yuji Naka, Sonic's creator. And this is a recording of the event where Sega announced Sonic Adventure to the world. The two hosts on stage talk about the game a bit, and then they play a video going behind the scenes at Sega. Here's how Sonic Adventure was created, they say. Roll tape. So in case you couldn't tell, this video is just a little tongue in cheek. It's not exactly serious. Like for example, this guy says, I want to make the characters more attractive. To which his colleague replies, well, what do you think? And that's the scene we saw being filmed in the other photo. That's what the cameraman is doing. He's recording this behind the scenes tape. So if this realistic Sonic scene was filmed for this behind the scenes video, then hopefully there should be one other scene here. The video cuts to the producer who says, what Sonic is missing is love. This is the game Sonic Love Story. Just look at his computer. It's the Sonic bikini image. So there it is. There's the proof. This image was not in fact photoshopped, like I suspected at first. No, it was real the whole time, but it was never going to be turned into a real video game. It was part of a joke that Sonic Team played on the public back in 1990. They were never planning on making a Sonic dating sim, they just wanted to have a little fun with the behind the scenes video. It just happens that this joke took a whole day of searching and digging to understand. And I guess now you're in on it too. Congrats. Um, if you want to support this channel, you can donate $2 a month to my Patreon, which also gets you access to my exclusive Discord server. And if you donate $10, then you can have your name put at the end, like these awesome people. And I'll see you next week. Bye!